Our next presenter, Nicole Connolly. She was born and raised in a small town in Stuttgart, Germany. She came to the U.S. as a teenager and now resides in the West Area. She is a graduate of Boston University of uh, Boston University Center of Digital Arts. Her wonderful images are remarkable in their basic color, natural light, clean lines, and simple forms. Her presentation tonight will focus on her accomplishments in travel photography and her expert experiences in traveling. Wow, this is really amazing. See, look at you guys, like all came out here tonight. Big applause to you guys. <laughs> well, I guess I better get started with my uh, presentation since I only have about six minutes to get you guys excited about travel photography. All the images in my slideshow have been taken on my last trip uh, this past summer. I visited um, all sorts of places in Iceland, including Reykjavik, Copenhagen in Denmark, Kalmar, which is on the east coast of uh, Sweden, and then I went down to Germany and visited Hamburg, Berlin, Dresden, and Heidelberg. Most of these uh, um, places I traveled to by myself um, taking Germany's uh, fastest train, ICE, and Europe's fastest road, the Autobahn, <laughs> where I traveled 120 miles an hour in, um, in my rental car. And believe it or not, I still had people passing me. My favorite place at this trip was Iceland. It's by far the most uh, exciting and most beautiful place um, to travel to. As my friend um, and fellow travel photographer Ron can actually confirm for me. Yeah, where is <laughs> <laughs> I mean seriously, where else can you go and see hexagonal uh, columns rising up in the sky, beaches with black sand and uh, lakes with uh, milky blue water. It's just amazing. And by the way, Iceland is only a four hour flight away from um, Boston. What I absolutely love about uh, travel photography is that I can um, um, you know, explore new uh, areas and uh, places, meet new people. And um, I also love to get up really early in the morning when the, when, when the air is like really fresh outside. Um, it's still dark. There's no tourists buzzing around, and the light is absolutely beautiful. So by the time 9 o'clock comes normally around, I already feel like I conquered the day. You learn so much about uh, the places uh, when I travel, uh, about the people, their uh, history, their art, their culture. And yeah, you do get to taste some great new foods as well. Um, Another great thing is uh, when I get back home and edit through my pictures, I actually get to relive my whole trip again. And yeah, how much I wish I would have a piece of that cake I had in Dresden just one more time. <laughs> the destinations I love and concentrate my photography on right now are Europe and New England. In case you're curious about what kind of gear and how much gear I take with me on these trips, I shoot with Canon and I normally bring about two bodies with me, two camera bodies, and two wide-angle lenses. One camera and lens set actually go into my check-in luggage and they are backup. The other camera and lens I put in my, I pack in my, um, in my carry-on uh, luggage and they are ready to go. And then I normally bring a uh, telephoto lens, maybe another lens, a polarizing filter, plenty of memory cards, battery, my laptop, heavy tripod and, and uh, it's a long list of equipment. I also have a great secret recipe on how to overcome that nasty jet lag. Do you guys want to hear about it? Yes! yes. Alright. Well normally it's best to get as much sleep as possible on the plane which is really not as easy um, since the seats are kind of small, uncomfortable, you're kind of crowded in and you normally have some screaming kids right next to you. So here's what I do. 
I, uh, I load my iPhone or MP3 player uh, full with comfortable, easy listening kind of music. In my case, the girl from Impanima. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, then I try to uh, dress kind of comfortable, you know, pants not too tight. I take off my shoes and I put on an extra pair of socks because it does kind of get cold on those planes. And I normally pack another jumper too. Um, and then, um, um, then I just lean back and put on my headphones and turn on the volume of my iPhone. Um, and another important thing is that you uh, actually book yourself a window seat because this way you just avoid people trying to pass by you and you also have a wall to lean on and don't end up drooling on your neighbor's shoulder. <laughs> well, but here is the most important part. Um, just as you sit down in your seat, I actually take a shot of NyQuil. And maybe you want to pass that bottle of NyQuil down to your, to the mothers with the screaming kids. I'm sure enough, they can eat it. And I'm looking at my slides, I probably have time for just some interesting facts. Um, Iceland is actually uh, one of Europe's biggest banana producers, believe it or not. The city of Berlin has more bridges um, than Venice. And uh, another interesting fact is that uh, Copenhagen is actually the richest uh, city in all of, in the whole world. And I think that's it for me for tonight. And as Rick Steves would probably say here, keep on traveling. Auf Wiedersehen. <laughs>